Hello everyone, Dan here from Sure PT. Well, this was kind of a last minute trip to be planned. Uh, got a lot warmer than what I anticipated it was going to get this spring. So the places where I actually wanted to go, the ice was either gone or it wouldn't even been any fun because I wouldn't have been able to uh, get up on top of it. So I was lucky enough to uh, talk with John. Uh, John is another Sherp owner. Uh, he purchased his about a year before I did. His model is a little bit different than mine. Uh, you kind of notice here, this is my model again, uh, driving this one. Again, I put that different wrap on because of the Kanye West thing. Um, but as I'm going forward, you'll notice that the water does not shoot up in the back as, as high as what it does on John's. That's because I have these little mud flaps. That was one change that they made. They also made some changes to the gauges. And it still has a five-speed transmission, but I think it's a little bit different model. It also has a little bit different cooling system. But overall, they're the same exact thing. So I did not actually bring anybody with me, any of friends. Uh, I just met people as I was there, gave a couple of different people a ride. I think they had a good time. Um, I certainly did. I had an absolute blast. Uh, I didn't ride on this type of ice a lot this year. It was either completely solid or it was just barely enough ice to go on. That's a pretty wicked angle right there. Uh, really came down. You just try to sit there and just try to go with the, the right hand or the passenger side tires turning. And pretty soon you just have to give up and uh, let the other side twerk a little bit and then you'll just pretty much pop out of anything. Um, sometimes when you get large icebergs that have broken off the regular ice, if they get just kind of situated such that they're right in the bottom of the Sherp, um, you know, sitting on the bottom, it makes it so buoyant that the tires kind of have a little difficulty grabbing. Uh, so what we end up doing then is just kind of going forward and back and then eventually those icebergs will come out from underneath and then it's easier to grab hold and pop back up again. Another thing too that's different between my Sherp and John's Sherp is I do not have any studs in mine. Uh, he has studs in the front of his tires and it helps out significantly. Uh, those of you the snowmobile, it's, they're like carbide type studs, even the ones that you kind of have embedded in tracks nowadays uh, that you can purchase, though they're very similar to that. I did not see any studs out of his tire and he said that he didn't have any problems either. The only disadvantage with studs is, is they'll rip up concrete, they'll whip, rip up trailers. Uh, that's the reason I did get them. You still can pretty much make it through anything, uh, but they it's a horse apiece. So if you notice, when he backs up, as you're watching videos, and John again is on the left-hand side with the white one, his back tires are like off the ground because those tires with those studs are just gripping. I don't think, however, I have not been outside of my shirt watching it, that mine will grip as well as his does backing up. Uh, but it was really cool watching him because he could pop right out uh, very, very quickly. So we had a little bit of a crowd. I think there was probably about 20 people that gathered around. Um, I believe this is the second year that John did this. The first is very similar to the normal ones. People, again, they get very excited uh, or they are just fascinated that what the heck is going on. But that's kind of went through all of that. This water is very deep right here. I don't, I shouldn't say very deep. It's, it's deep enough that there's no way that you're going to touch bottom, uh, not disturb any, getting all the mud kicked up, that type of thing. We wouldn't want to do it anyhow. It's, that's not something that anybody wants to do. What's the sense of doing something like that? Um, but it was fun. Uh, it was probably, I'd say, maybe 100 yards across. Not exactly right. Somebody who may see this, feel free to comment and say that I'm a fool and I got it all mixed up there. Um, 
as you can see and as you probably know, the Sherps can pretty much go anywhere. Uh, the, he could climb right up that hill. Uh, it is pretty steep right there, but I bet you he still could do it. Might be a little bit iffy, but it's pretty much possible to do anything in a Sherp if you just put your mind to it. So you can kind of see on the right hand side there how the ice is a little bit more uneven. That's been kind of busted up over there a little bit. Even though that it is busted up, like I said, you can still kind of float on it if the chunks are big enough, uh, provided that they are not right smack dab in the middle, keeping your tires from being having a good bite, shall we say, when you go at it. It's a lot of fun to uh, be on that side angle. Uh, when you're not used to it, though, it can really throw you for a loop because you got to kind of throw your arm out to make sure you don't run into the other person. If you notice, John, he always goes up like that, right with those front wheels and pops back again. It does a really nice job of busting up the ice that way. Uh, where I live at, last year there was a fairly large ice dam that built up within the city and caused some pretty significant flooding. I am fairly confident after this day's experience that if you were at the bottom side of that flood, just as long as you were ready to get the hell out of the way once that ice broke loose, I think you could be in there and you could bust it up with the shirt. You're going to see some videos here in the future uh, that kind of demonstrate that you got to be careful. You got to use your head, but you 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 could seriously fix an ice dam with the shirt. Kind of to notice too, like so, John on the right hand side when he's doing uh, kind of spinning a little bit, or if he's turning quickly, he grips a lot more than I do. You can really tell uh, with those studs. Yes. <laughs> I can't even believe you have to question this. <laughs> My life is now complete. You don't have the SARS, do you? <laughs> I don't have the SARS. I have the Corona. <laughs> the Corona.
Ha, 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 ha.